What's up guys, Josh here, and today is a five minute Friday, and today I'm gonna to be explaining some of the difference between dedicated DAX and DAC amp combos, and kind of where you should put your money. So let's start with a basic explanation of what exactly a DAC is. So a DAC is a digital to analog converter. So basically it takes a digital signal that would be outputted by your phone or your computer, and then turns it into an analog signal that would be received by an amplifier first, and then going out to speakers or headphones. So do you need a DAC? Well, unless you're running a completely analog system through in and throughout, yes, you absolutely need a DAC. They are built in a lot of times in your phone and your computer. So I'll go into whether or not you want one in a separate video for now. I just want to talk about the difference between dedicated and amp DAC combos. Now, one of the benefits that comes from an amp DAC combo is actually size. So this is an amp DAC combo. It takes a USB signal that bypasses the onboard DAC on my computer and puts it out to a 3.5 millimeter to headphones. So it's basically taking a digital signal, turning it into analog and amplifying it out to play for headphones. That's where the DAC amp combination comes from. So size is one benefit and cost is another. Usually if you're gonna buy a dedicated DAC and a dedicated amp, usually it's gonna run you anywhere between 70 to about $150 if you're considering it in the cheap range. But with an amp DAC combo like this, this one's $75, this one is $100, and I have a $150 one in my living room, and that's for both the DAC and the amp. So on top of size and cost, what are the auditory benefits of having a DAC amp? Well, if you have a company like Shit, for example, who makes this full of two here, and they wanna have a specific sound signature. So they're gonna tune both the DAC and the amplifier in this device to work in conjunction with one another to produce whatever they feel is the best sound. So that may or may not be a benefit to you. If you like the shit sound signature, then this is a perfect option for you because they've built this entire device to sound the way that they want it to sound. And if you like the way that it sounds, then it's a perfect situation. However, the opposite could be true, and this goes towards the benefit of dedicated DACs which is that if you have a dedicated DAC, you can manipulate the sound that comes to your headphones or your speakers through various amplifiers. And so you can take a DAC that you enjoy and put various amplifiers. Let's say you go from a solid state to this little dot three tube amplifier, which is still on sale, by the way, hit me up in the DMs if you want it. And you're gonna be able to tailor the sound a little bit better to either whatever your tastes are, or if you want various sounds, like maybe one day you wanna run off tubes and another day you wanna run off solid state. A dedicated DAC will allow you to do that. And another thing to note is that in theory, especially when you get into the higher end of DACs, um, a lot of DACs sound the same because in theory, they really actually shouldn't have any sound signature to them. And then all the unique sound signatures that you hear or lack thereof should come from an amplifier. Now with a dedicated DAC, you can actually get a lot of variable options before you actually hit any one amplifier. And this includes going to multiple different amplifiers. A good example would be, let's say you wanna put one output to a headphone amplifier and another output to a speaker amplifier. This can potentially be a huge benefit over DAC amp combos. So I think that'll about wrap it up. If you guys have any preference in if you prefer a DAC amp or just a DAC and a separate amplifier, I would love to know in the comment section down below. Please explain your reasoning if you have a preference and why and, and obviously this is just a very basic explanation of some of the benefits and drawbacks. There's a ton of benefits and a ton of drawbacks that I haven't gone into in this video, so please do your own research. This is just a general rule of thumb. I did list some of the DACs and DAC amp combos that I like in the description down below. If you could please use those Amazon links, it would help me out. Please consider supporting me on Patreon. Until the next video, guys, my name is Josh. Stay safe, don't drown, don't do anything your mom would approve of. Peace.